before we get into the video make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe to the second channel and make sure y'all go ahead and follow me on all my social media the end of the year is starting to rear its ugly head around the corner and it's been a wild year my channel started to take off and i made a couple nice. good solid friends on the way i finally got my own place and a lot of my goals have been accomplished the year has been packed with a lot of ups and downs and i'm ready to see what next year has to offer what do y'all see happening once the new year strikes i mean there's a bunch of things that usually happen around the beginning of the year you start to see the gyms packed out for the first two months because everybody has goals and resolutions that they want to uphold but trust me it ain't gonna last and it's probably gonna start to fall off mid-march but hey that's okay they'll be here again next year so let's not waste any more time let's get into the different types of people on new year's let's start this list off first with the good old new year's resolutioners these are those people that set their resolutions and they stick to it for a little while but then they fall off pretty quickly but that doesn't necessarily goes for everybody just the majority of the population i keep telling myself that i'm gonna be more consistent with dropping videos every time i drop one but you see how that's been working out but in hindsight i have been working on a little sum sum in the background so once that's complete i'll probably be back on it those people be like all right i'm gonna start hitting the gym every single day they have the same idea that everybody else has and then i promise you everyone and their mama is gonna be up in those gyms around the first of the year you know planet fitness and crunch gonna be racking in the big bucks around this time everybody be like i'll be there all year long Cap. might as well get that year long pass because this ain't gonna be a temporary thing i'm gonna have a six pack by the end of the year Cap. I mean, I didn't say it that way too many times. I'm gonna start eating healthier and cut out all the fast food and junk. You smell that? <sighs> What's that, McDonald's? Nah, that's cap. <laughs> Don't be one of those people that's gonna wait till the beginning of the year to start making changes. You might as well start right now. Yeah, that's right. Get off that couch, put down that bag of Doritos, get out of bed and go ahead and hit them squat thrusts. One and a two and a one and a two. Yeah, go ahead, feel that burn. Next, we have the, we left that in the previous year. I hate those people and they're usually the ones on social media talking about, oh, if I ain't talked to you in the last four minutes, you're not going with me into the next year. What? My, I don't even wanna go out with you, let alone go into another year dealing with your goofy sh for the next 365 days or it be those that be like we left all that drama in 2023 uh-uh we ain't doing all of that you notice how no one's hitting your line right now yeah they definitely left the drama in last year because uh you're the one that was causing it or y'all be like uh, i hate this year can it be over i'm ready for 2025 we barely survived 2023 and it's only the second week of january how much bullshit can you get into within the first week of the year don't run the year we gotta make it to see gta 6 come out i i don't see why they dropped the trailer a year prior to its actual release because now we gotta play life on easy mode and make sure we don't do no dumb shit till then and i'm telling y'all right now don't hit my line when that and bully 2 comes out because it's going straight to voicemail and after them we have the new year new me people <sighs> knowing damn well ain't shit changed about you they walking around fake zend out talking about woosa woosa stop it stop it stop it stop because y'all know all that crazy is still buried underneath all that feng shui more like fake shui fugazi shui Trey Lee. you move the furniture around the house you put up some new curtains you might even change up your hairstyle but are you putting in that inner work see you can change everything that's on the outside but it won't mean nothing unless you put in that same work on the inside instead of acting like you're nice to people why don't you actually be nice take the time out of your day to check on people you know you don't understand how good it feels to let someone know that you're actually thinking about them and on top of that start helping each other out instead of tearing each other down spend a little more time working on yourself if you take that extra extra hours scrolling on tiktok and put it towards reading or being outside or even working out even learning a new skill you'll feel 10 times more accomplished than being on social media we spend so much time on our phones to the point that we didn't fried our attention spans and now nothing can hold our attention unless there's a gta video underneath it and we miss out everything that's going on around us we pay more attention to the lives of celebrities and people online than we do our own lives and i'm not perfect i have a lot of work to put in myself well not the celebrities thing because i could care less about what they got going on i mean they humans too think of it like a video game the more time you put in working on your skills you begin to gain different attributes and once you gain so many attributes you begin to unlock new abilities so if i was you i would get to working on that xp my boy and next we have those annoying new year joke tellers these jokes are so corny and so 
old man i hate these dad jokes with a passion i mean i hate all dad jokes but these jokes i just hate more for some reason i don't know they just make my skin crawl you think working hard or hardly working was bad try getting a call at 1201 in the morning on january 1st after they done hung up on you at 1158 talking about i haven't talked to you since last year man you hung up on me for this bull <laughs> yeah now you're getting blocked till next year wait it is next year Nah, you stand blocked until 2025, Damn. and you better hope I unblock you before GTA 6 come out, because if you not, you probably gonna stay blocked for a couple more months, or they'll be like, oh man, I haven't seen you since last year, standing there looking stupid. <laughs> Man, I just seen you yesterday. Next, we have the New Year's Eve party throwers. I ain't gonna lie, these parties right here, they be turned. I mean, I didn't went to a few of them. Matter of fact, I remember when I was younger, I would go to these people's houses and they lived in rich neighborhoods. So the house was big as f They had hella food. They had the newest game systems. They had a game room and the whole setup was just lit. Then, as I got older, I started going to more New Year's Eve parties and you start to realize this shit is ass because the ones that i started going to when i got older they didn't have no food they have no drinks just bottles and see i'm not drinking like that in public because i gotta stay 10 toes gotta make sure i'm aware of the environment that i'm in but nah they ain't have no food they had no bevs they ain't even have nothing to chase with what you were drinking they had no games just music standing on the wall and females that turn any down that comes Fight. their way i mean that sounds like your basic party exactly party basic i could have stayed home and got let with a few other people than go to this motherfucking party and the next you have the people who go watch the ball drop i'm talking about watching the ball drop in new york see i've never been to new york so i can't speak on it too much but hey seems like it'd be a little cool experience i mean you outside with twenty thousand other people huddled up with no space waiting for the ball to drop while you see two rats the size of john cena fighting over a slice of pizza i mean technically you wouldn't have to worry about looking at the rat stove size why not? Because if they were the size of John Cena, you, you wouldn't be able to see them, right? You know, because you, cause you can't see John Cena. And after them, you have the ones who stack up on fireworks. I mean, it's like y'all trying to recreate the 4th of July. And make sure y'all can tell the difference between the sound of fireworks and the sound of working at five because you'll probably be hearing both that night make sure y'all be careful when it comes to that i mean one has more of an echo and one sounds just like you know a pop and if you hear more than one run hit the boosters don't even try to stay and figure out what's going on and then last but not least you have the nonchalant ones the ones that don't care about new year's whatsoever it's another day for them don't tell them no jokes no plans no resolutions it's whatever to them all right appreciate y'all staying to the end uh yeah make sure y'all comment down below what else y'all want me to talk about and i hope y'all have a great new year's make sure y'all go ahead and work on yourselves become the best version of y'all so this year has been crazy and if it wasn't for y'all i wouldn't be where i'm at right now i appreciate y'all and uh i'll see y'all next time Run up on me i got heavy artillery Swear to clip my beer as long as it's set up here i go and i head up at hq hq then i put a price on your head and then i'ma go ghost with my niggas on ratio i hate with the murders